Hey you guys, Rebecca Overson here with the art of building a successful massage practice. And oh my goodness, I had no idea uh, the response to the post I had earlier about what to name your business. And I had said that if any of you wanted my input and coaching on your business names as an expert in branding and marketing massage practices and building them to awesome levels of success, and so many of you posted comments under there and you wanted my feedback. So here it is. We're gonna do just some lightning round of feedback. And remember, you only post posted the name of your business because you promised to be coachable, okay? I'm gonna be straight, noble, speak the truth. Ultimately, it's your business and you get to make the decisions, but you asked for my opinion, so here it comes, all right? So just as a quick recap, uh, we talked about what you should name your business, okay? Number one, it should be clear. Don't use clever stuff or creative spellings. Number two, it should establish your authority and you as an expert. Number three, it should be original and uncopyable. Uh, you guys, I can't tell you how many practices I've seen across the country that all have the same names and it kind of drives me crazy. Um, you know, and then also it should make sense and clearly reflect what it is that you are offering to your clients. Like, you know, it should, it should make sense with your niche. And if you don't have a niche, that's a whole other problem. And it should definitely stay away from anything that could be construed as sexual or sensual. And finally, it should not be personally meaningful to you alone. It needs to be something that makes sense for your clients to know that they're in the right place. Okay. So I said, <clears throat> I said, feel free to, uh, to post your your business names below, and I said, but only, uh, only if you are open to coaching. So here you go, guys. All right, there's so many comments under here. I probably won't get to all of them today. I just have a couple of minutes here, so we're gonna go through as many of them as we can. All right. So I addressed Renee's. She calls it her health hub, and hers is a prenatal practice. And I don't like that name for several reasons. First of all, I don't think it adequately conveys a prenatal massage practice. Um, and then her old business name was Bump Birth and Beyond Healthcare, which again, it's just, guys, it's confusing. Healthcare is not necessarily what massage therapists do. Now I do happen to know Renee is in Australia, slightly different climate there for massage therapists, but it's just not clear. Also, if you wanna network with healthcare providers, calling it Bump Birth is not necessarily an authoritative name, okay? All right, so let's see here, Tiffany. Tiffany, yeah, we had a little discussion on this one, Tiffany. Uh, so here's a Susquehanna massage therapy. She lives on Susquehanna, and I think that that's, that's name is just fine. Um, she didn't like it because it's a little long, but it is the name of where you live, so people know how to spell it, and I think that that's fine. Okay, let's see, Rosa said, um, um, fertile hands, which I recommend changing. Um, I, I just mentioned that she does fertility massage, pregnancy and postpartum, but fertile hands sounds a little scary. You know, you gotta, you guys gotta take off your massage therapist hat and step into prospective client hat, like, and think about how this lands for people that are looking at using your services who don't know as much as you do. Okay. And then Kim has craniosacral Tallahassee, which my comment was, it just leaves me wondering, do people really know what craniosacral is? Um, this is the trick with marketing a modality, you guys. Most people don't know what your modalities actually are, so I wouldn't recommend building a brand around the name of your modality. Um, Heather said bodies in balance massage, and that falls under the pretty generic and likely to be in use in lots of different places. Um, there's probably other phrases. Again, I'm not against it, but if her niche is pre and post op, then I would go with something a lot more medical and clinical than bodies in balance, okay? Um, ageless massage is what Adrian said. And I said, what kind of clients do you work with? And her feedback was all kinds, young and old. I'm specialized and I'm certified in Swedish deep tissue, lymphedema, cupping, pre and postnatal, appropriate. Okay, here's the thing. I gotta stop right there, Adrian. I love you so much and you can't specialize in 18 things. Also, your clients don't care about your modalities. So I want to redirect you to my 60 minute webinar. It's a free training. Just go to rockyourmassagepractice.com and you can click on it to watch it. It is a free training about the five shifts that you must make if you want a chance at a thriving practice. And we're gonna address some of that stuff right there. So ageless massage makes me think this is like some kind of anti-aging service or something along those lines. But Adrian, you're making one other marketing mistake, which is trying to advertise to everybody, which is seen by nobody, okay? But again, and it's okay if you know if that name works for you, I'm just giving you my coaching as your coach, okay? Um, Laura says, I'm just now rebranding and changing from my name to Pacific Point Wellness. Um, this is another thing I don't like in business names, you guys, is wellness or wellness center, or those types of things. It doesn't mean anything to the average person. What, what does that mean? Nobody wakes up in the morning looking for wellness. They're not shopping for wellness. 
Okay, I think Pacific Point is good, but I'd rather see Lara. I'd rather see something like Pacific Pacific Point massage therapy or something that's just like ridiculously clear about what you do. Okay, um, Karen has Body Works with an RX therapeutic massage. Again, that violates the rule of being too cutesy or clever. I know you're doing this like RX and Body Works, and it's just confusing for the client and and hard to spell. Um, Jillian has Mole Queen's Mobile Massage. Um, again, I, it, I think that that's fine. It's working for now. It's her last name. I think that that's fine. Um, Jill, another Jillian has, uh, health and life coaching as well. So Candelita wellness. I don't know what, it's a variation of her last name. I, I think it's strange. Candelita with a K. K. Nobody knows what that is. People aren't likely to remember it. You're better off just going off with your last name. Um, but again, wellness, you guys, it's just generic. I think we should stop using that entirely. It could be massage therapy and wellness, or why not call it massage therapy and life coaching or massage therapy and coaching, something that's actually stupid obvious to what to what it is that you offer, okay? All right, so let's see. Rachel settled on Chowti, South Tampa, which again, Rachel, I think it's great. I know, Rachel, you've worked with me, so you've gotten all of the input on that. And that's, you know, um, the downfalls that people don't know how to say that or spell that. And it's built around the modality that people don't know what that is. But, you know, again, you're the boss of your business. Okay. You get to make that choice. So, um, let's see. Amy says, uh, mine is Amy's therapeutic massage. Amy, I don't like that. And here's why it's not professional. It's like massage by Mary or chiropractic by Bob. It's just not professional. So I'm um, also Amy, your name is spelled A-M-I-E, which is a little bit um, different than a traditional spelling that could create some confusion. It's just, I just, I, th I think you could make it more professional, even if it was just, well, your last name is Leichtfuss, so that's a little bit hard to spell. So Amy, I would recommend a new name for your business, finding a new name, okay. Uh, Candy has Body Calmer Remedial Massage. So I'm guessing she is in Australia, or I think that's where they do remedial massage. I don't love body calmer. Um, it's it's cute and it's clever, but um, yeah, I don't know. I'd give it a five out of six there, Candy. <laughs> okay, and then Carrie Ann Moore just rebranded and partnered with Christina. Was Renew You Massage Therapy good? I actually know a couple of Renew Yous, so it's good that you um, you know moved away from that. Now Columbus Massage Therapy LLC. I think that's great. One thing you guys is you don't need to have LLC in the name of your business. Okay, but Columbus Massage Therapy, authoritative, cl authoritative, clear, okay? And then the one thing it makes me wonder is what is your niche, what do you specialize in, okay? Uh, Abby has On Point Massage Therapy, I think that's a great name. Eric has his own name, which is Boulet, it's Boulet, I don't know how to say your name, Eric, that's the downfall. Boulet's Body Works. Again, I don't love the body work thing because people don't know what that is. Out there in the rest of the world, out there in the rest of the world, People don't know what body work is or it has something to do with cars. Okay, so that's the downfall is your name is hard to pronounce. And it's just, I, I think you could find something that works a little harder for you on that one, Eric. Um, Miley, okay, Miley's healing hands. No, Miley, that's, it's just corny. It's just corny, okay? Definitely wanna rename that. I don't think you would jeopardize your business by renaming it. You might find lots more clients that are gonna take you seriously with a name like that, okay? All right, and then let's see, Anne has, um, Anne Marie, it's my last name is Doll, and my gut says no matter what, I combine my last name, it's gonna sound pornish. Yeah, don't use that. Doll orthopedic massage or Doll, you know what, that could work, Anne Marie, because if it's a very clinical name, Doll orthopedic massage actually works because it turns people away from the porn star name or the fetishy type of thing, okay? Um, but if it's a concern for you, it's gonna show up with your clients and you could just get rid of it entirely by calling it something else not using your name okay um let's see susan why do you say that we don't need the llc in our business name if we're an actually llc i thought for legal reasons we should include it it just doesn't need to be included in your logo you can put it on your bank account and your paperwork and all of that stuff but it just doesn't need to be necessarily included in your logo and i don't i don't think for legal reasons it needs to be included because i have an llc but that's not necessarily the name of my massage practice was a dba so I, nobody knew the name of my LLC because I was using a DBA. So I just don't, don't think it necessarily needs to be in your logo, okay? SC Massage and Body Work. Again, Sarah, 
Sarah, okay, I get it. It's your initials, and that's okay. I think you could find something that works a little harder for you. Okay, I'm, like you guys, I have to end now. <laughs> I've got a, I've got an appointment starting in two minutes. So we got through like a bunch of them, right? We got a bunch of them through. I promise I will pick up and do the rest of them. Let's see. We stopped at. We stopped at SC Massage and Body Work, so I'll pick up on the rest of them, you guys. And if you have any other questions, you can just post your business name under here, or you can go to that post, that, that original thread. It's got the little electric electric open sign. Sorry, I'm talking so fast because I'm trying to get so much in in the next you know, 60 seconds here before I have to wrap up. Okay, so um, I hope that that helps you guys. And as always, if you are struggling or just need to get your business to the next level, please reach out to me and see if mentoring is right for you. I love coaching you guys. My students that I get to work with in the eight-week program are just kicking ass and so much clarity. It's like business church, I'm telling you. It is just really about you connecting with your purpose and having everything in your business line up with that so that you are getting the perfect clients, consistent clients at the right price and that your practice really serves and supports you you and that's what I want for all of you I am I am leading a revolution in this industry where massage therapists are taken seriously because they are serious business owners and know what they're doing and it is so rewarding and you deserve that don't you so if you're interested in that just reach out to me through my website rockyourmassagepractice.com or through my coaching page on Facebook it's just Rebecca Overson coaching okay love you guys I'll talk to you soon we'll pick up where we left off and have an awesome day bye